comes to relationships, we're going to talk the importance of physical touch. And I have relationship expert Vicky here with me, one of my favorite people in the whole wide world. <laughs> I love that we get to do this. Right, me too. And physical touch, it's not just within a marriage. It can be with almost any type of relationship. Your kids, parents, siblings, friends. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, physical touch is just one of those things that uh, it, it takes us from surviving to thriving. I love it. See, I'm a hugger by nature. Like, you're a stranger. I don't care. I'll give you a hug. Sure. No problem. Middle of the grocery store. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, it creates um, it creates the feel good, the oxytocin. Right. So physical touch will help to sort of connect you as people, um, connect you as friends, connect you as partnerships. So. Uh, I just think that, that that love hormone, it means something. And I think that it's just really important to make sure that we're engaging it as much as possible. I agree completely. And to me, like, obviously, on everybody's level of love language, physical touch can fall in a different category. For me, physical touch is really high. My husband, it's quality time, right? Mark, he wants that quality time with me. And he'll compromise by holding my hand the whole time. And right. But I think it's important that you know where the love language hits. Yes. With that person. Yeah, I agree. And I mean, not everyone loves physical touch yep. um, all the time. Yep. Some people love to be touched consistently. Some people like the arm touch, the hand touch, whatever that looks like. Um, some people just like to be shoulder to shoulder. Yeah. Just sitting, watching a show together, just being together. And it's funny because, you know, transitioning into like the parent child relationship, even with our two daughters, our oldest one is very much the shoulder to shoulder. She wants to be there with you. She'll give you hugs and kisses when she wants. Our little one, I have to actually tell her sometimes like, okay, Emily, mommy has to get up and go do things now. Yes, yes. And you know, when you think about it in those sort of terms, if you think about withholding physical touch from a child, mm -hmm. um, creating that safety and that security for them, but we think that sometimes we're like, it doesn't matter if I feel that level of intimacy with a partner. Why is that okay? Right. And sometimes, exactly. It goes back to that. It's not just about what's comfortable for you. It's meeting that compromise within the relationship. Agreed. And it creates a level of security in the relationship as well. Right. If you didn't hug me when I walked in the door today. <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong? I would wonder what was up. Right. Um, it's the same thing when we don't necessarily greet our partner at the door or make them feel um, cared for physically in a, in a particular way doesn't just have to be physical intimacy and sex. It can just be closeness. I love it. Always thank you for chatting with me, Vicki. My pleasure. For more information, visit markandmandy.com. That's all the time we have for today. We'll see you next time on The Mark and Mandy Show. Thanks for watching The Mark and Mandy Show. Like our video by clicking below and subscribe to our YouTube channel.